At this very moment, the most in-demand dental material is zirconia. With every manufacturer offering their own zirconia, how do you decide which one to use for your patients? Do you know which brand of zirconia is being used by your laboratory? After watching this video, you will rethink how and when to prescribe zirconia. We are passionate about your smiles and that's why we focus on releasing new content to keep you informed about what's new in dental technology and dental materials. Click on the subscribe button below to make sure you never miss a video. This industry is moving quickly. Don't be left behind. I'm Alexander Wünsche, the owner of Zahn Technique Dental Laboratory in Miami, Florida. Since the early 2000s, I have been working with Zirconia and have been involved in multiple pre-market evaluations of many different generations of that material. In this video, I would like to discuss why Zirconia is the ideal solution for many indications. Let's take a closer look at the mechanical properties, the optical properties, and the biocompatibility. When we evaluate Zirconia, we realize not all zirconia are created equal. What I mean by that is, there are many different types of zirconia available on the market today. We can address multiple indications with this material family, but we still have to make a proper decision which type of zirconia is ideal. The strength of zirconia is in between 650 and 1500 megapascal, which is a very big span. But even if you compare this with other available materials like lithium disilicate, which has a strength of about 450 to 500 megapascal plus minus, or thalspathic porcelain, which is about, let's say, 100 to 125, 130 megapascal, zirconia shows the highest strength. So now, how do you make the decision about which material to use? Well, for every indication, there is an ideal solution. I say, if you're working with individual crowns or short span bridges of three units, we can utilize a zirconia with lower strength to take advantage of the higher aesthetic properties, which I will explain in a little bit. On the other side, when we work on longer span bridges up to full arch, we need the highest strength, which could be a sacrifice in aesthetics. To achieve the highest aesthetics possible, we must layer at least the facial areas with porcelain. Let me explain very quickly the risk of chipping porcelain on zirconia. In general, when we layer porcelain, and it doesn't really matter the material on which we are layering on, it can always chip if influenced by any outside forces like biting on something very hard, like a trauma, accidents or so, or excursions and inclusions. We can design the zirconia framework to minimize the risk of chipping to an absolute minimum. We will post videos of framework designs in the future on this YouTube channel. Please make sure you're subscribed so you can be notified when the video is released. So back to the strength of zirconia. As you can see on the graph, to simplify, less strength, higher aesthetics. Higher strength, less aesthetics. And that is just looking at zirconia itself without layering or staining glaze materials. That gives us a good transition to talk about the optical or aesthetic properties. In general, the tooth-like color of zirconia makes us think it is a great material for aesthetics. Unfortunately, not all zirconia are aesthetic. As mentioned earlier, more strength, less translucent, less strength, more translucent. Aesthetically, we can create lifelike restorations with porcelain layer techniques. Even if we are fabricating full counter restorations with super high translucent materials in multi-layered, these can be highly aesthetic. 
with limitations in size, as we discussed earlier. So the conclusion in regards to aesthetic, smaller restorations in full contour, utilizing super high translucent multi-layered zirconia can be highly aesthetic. Larger span bridges or hybrids must utilize stronger and less translucent zirconia. So we have to layer areas with porcelain to achieve highly aesthetic restorations. Besides aesthetic and strength, I think there is one huge clinical advantage of zirconia. Due to its high density, it doesn't have a lot of surface porosity like other materials such as cassette metals or layered felspathic porcelains. That allows the surface to be very clean and it stays clean even after a long time in the mouth. That is one of the reasons tissue just loves zirconia. In my own experience, we have seen many cases of acrylic restorations that resulted in inflammation when seeded. However, when these patients were retreated with zirconia restorations, the tissue inflammation was significantly reduced or even eliminated. Also, fabricating custom zirconia healing abutments are great for establishing an inflammation-free emergence profile. To round out our video, I wanted to conclude that we differentiate five classes in dental restorations. Class 5 indicates the largest variety of restorations with monolithic and veneer types of individual and big span bridges. It requires a strength of greater than 800 MPa. Class 4 indicates a restoration up to 3 units and requires a strength larger than 500 MPa. Most dental restorations are falling in these two classes. So far, we can utilize our previously discussed materials for these types of restorations. One of the most important factors is the manufacturing process. From powder to puck, most zirconia is mined in Australia with the exceptions of Brazil, South Africa and North America and processed into zirconia powder. From there, it will be shipped to blank manufacturers. In my personal opinion, it is best to choose a zirconia brand of a blank manufacturer who is fabricating its own blanks. So the fabrication process is consistent with their own protocol. Another important point I'm stressing on is to limit my own inventory to the least amount of different zirconia brands possible. That allows me to have the highest consistency and quality in the final restoration. You should now be well versed on the when to prescribe zirconia and maybe even which zirconia to prescribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when new content is released.